वेलकम बैक एस वेल हैज जस्ट रिलीज विंडोज ड्राइवर्स फॉर स्टीम डेक ओलेट ड्राइवर्स फॉर एपीयू एस डी कार्ड वाई फाई ब्लूटूथ एंड ऑडियो आर नाउ अवेलेबल ऑन वेल्स वेबसाइट बिफोर इंस्टॉलिंग द लेटेस्ट एपीयू ड्राइवर जस्ट मेक श्योर योर स्टीम डेक इज रनिंग ऑन द लेटेस्ट वायल्स वर्जन जस्ट अपडेट स्टीम ओ एस टू वर्जन थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स पॉइंट नाइन बेटा और एनथिंग न्यूअर देन दैट अ नोटिस मैंशनड है ऑन स्टीम डेक ओलेट विंडोज ऑडियो वोट वर्क वाया द स्पीकर इट विल ओनली वर्क वाया हेडफोन और ब्लूटूथ Unfortunately, Steam Deck LCD's Windows APU driver still hasn't been updated. Last update was released way back in November 2023, almost eight months ago. So I decided to install OLED Windows APU drivers on my Steam Deck LCD variant. They worked fine. I was even able to get AMD's internal and software working. I'll show you the complete process. Now installing OLED Windows APU driver on Steam Deck LCD is something that I would not recommend. But we have no idea when Valve will release the official Windows GPU driver for Steam Deck LCD. It has already been eight months now. First, I'll show you the current version of the GPU driver. Just click on the Windows icon here. Type TXGIG. Run command. Click on it. It started. Just click on the Display tab here. Current version of the driver: thirty one point zero point two one zero two zero point one zero one four. Yeah, it's old and outdated. Download the latest version of OLED Windows APU driver from this link. Click on Download here. Update it as of 15 August 2024. Now you need to install your current version of AMD Adrenaline software. It won't be compatible with the latest Windows APU driver. Just click on Windows here. Type AMD. AMD Settings. Right click. Uninstall. Installed apps will pop up. There's AMD software. Click on the three dots. Adjacent to it, uninstall. AMD custom GPU. Make sure this box is checked. Uninstall, remove. Click on uninstall and wait for the process to complete. Display will flicker. Do not worry, it's a normal thing. Restart is required. Now I was using Refined Script for dual booting Steam OS and Windows. This is what happened to it after uninstalling the Windows APU driver. Do not worry. Just switch off your Steam Deck. Press and hold the power button. Now just press and hold volume up and power buttons together. You'll hear a sound. Release the power button, but keep holding the volume up button. Boot menu. And just select boot from file. First option ESP. Select EFI. Select Microsoft. Select boot. Scroll down to the end. From here, select boot mgfw.efi. You will boot straight into Windows. There it is. You will only encounter this issue if you have installed Refined Script. If you don't have AMD Adrenaline software already installed on your Steam Deck, you can directly install the latest Windows APU driver. Open File Explorer. Go to Downloads. Extract the GFX driver zip file. Open it. Copy the folder. Go back. Paste it. Extraction complete. Open the folder. Run setup.exe file. Detecting our system configuration for driver and software compatibility. Detected. Additional options. Factory reset optional. It does not wipe your PC completely. Only removes the older GPU driver files. Entirely up to you. Installation type full. I have not checked factory reset setting. Install. Display will flicker during the installation process. Do not worry, it's a normal process. Display going black. It's working again. Process complete. Click on finish. Now I'll be installing Adrenaline software. Just run this exe file corresponding to Adrenaline version 24.7.1. WHQL driver. It will scan for compatible hardware. The process will fail. Do not worry. Just click on close. Its content got extracted. Go to C drive. Look for AMD folder. There it is. Open this folder. Then open AMD software installer. Open packages folder. Open drivers folder. Open display folder. Open WT six underscore INF folder. Open B four zero five two eight one folder. Scroll down until you find this exe file. Triple C two underscore install executed. Installation complete. Took some time. Close. Just restart Steam Deck. 
I'll just boot into Steam OS now. Open the boot manager, press the volume up and power keys together. Release the power key when you hear the sound. Keep holding the volume up key. Select boot manager. Select Steam OS. Switch to desktop mode. Now just open console terminal. Type this line. I'll give it in the description. Hit enter. Type your Steam Deck's password. Refined settings will open up. Here you just need to comment out all of the resolution lines. Basically add a hash in front of them. Scroll down until you find resolution 1280 by 800. And just add hash at the start of this line. Like this. Save the setting by pressing Ctrl and X keys together. Yes, Y. Hit enter, press Y, save, close, restart Steam Deck, starting refined script. Yeah, it's in portrait mode now. Windows, there you go. Our Windows is working again. This issue was related to refined script only, nothing to do with Windows. Just right click anywhere in the desktop area. Make sure resolution is set to 800p. Display orientation set to landscape. Now you need to go back to SteamOS, open refine.conf file and add the hash symbol at the start of resolution 1280 by 800. SteamOS desktop mode, open console, run this command, enter your Steam Deck's password, scroll up until you find this line hash resolution 1280800 and just remove hash at the start of this line like this, save the changes. Press Ctrl and X keys together. Yes, Y. Hit enter. Press the Y key again. Close. Restart. There's Refined Script. Windows. And we are in. Now in case Refined Script still does not work properly for you after updating Windows APU driver, do not worry. Just update its file via SteamOS. The process is very simple. You can follow Deck Wizard's guide. I'll give the link to their video in the description of my video. Don't want to repeat the steps. This is the section that you want to watch. Bring dual boot back. It will hardly take 2 minutes for everything to get working again. I can confirm that Refined Script works properly with this new Windows APU driver. Now open DXTIG. Check the version of the driver. Click on display. I'll just zoom in. Latest version 32.0.11002.3007 Updated as of 6 June 2024 Not the latest drivers Open internal in now Type AMD Settings Yeah it's working Version 24.10.0.03 Performance Only does not work see Settings Display settings, disable very bright from here. You can enable custom color settings, use your own settings. I have already shown the settings for Steam Deck LCD in my previous adrenaline video. I checked the graphics setting guys. anti lag setting is available but no AFMF as expected. These are the available settings. Per game settings. Again no. AFMF. This GPU driver does not add hardware decoding support as well. I'll just quickly run one game. Adrenaline in settings for GTA 5. Anti lag setting enabled. VSync enabled as well. If in the background, Steam Deck tools and RTSS are running. In game settings, 800p resolution. FX A enabled. VSync disabled from here. Population density and variety set to 50%. Same thing for distance scaling. Most of the settings are set to very high, reflection, MSA, disabled, motion plus 10 set to nil, that's it. Steam Deck tools overlay is working properly, I'll just open 8 settings, just press and hold this physical button with 3 dots here. Brightness can be adjusted. Yeah, zero brightness. And just set the level to 60, volume speakers are working properly resolution no fps limit applied 
VSync is enabled so FPS is capped at 60 SMT enabled OST mode can be changed from here only FPS go back to the previous mode full much better there is Franklin standing in the open here FPS is close to 50 not bad at all very high settings I have set the UMA buffer size setting to 4 GB on Steam Deck Windows we cannot set this value higher than 4 GB this is a big limiting factor for newly released AAA games they can easily eat up to 5 or 6 GB of VRAM games stutter a lot here you can see the VRAM usage close to 3 GB GTA 5 is an old game we know that for example Resident Evil 4 Remake will easily consume around 5 to 6 GB even when the game is running at 800p resolution driving around good performance again that's it with the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day